Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. So, is the crypto market back after the fears from over the weekend and the crypto market dropping off? We are seeing a lot of green here today. Yes, we are not back to the prices we were before the drop off, but we are seeing some very nice movements from assets that dropped 20 plus percent on friday and saturday yes today's sunday already <laughs> it's been like the past 24 hours have been kind of weird for you it's been kind of weird probably also but for me it's been super weird because you know i've been in the middle of all this right <laughs> um and uh the kids were home right there was no school because they shut everything down um so we're seeing the crypto market uh come back we're seeing the stock market futures open up in the green right it it uh it tanked in the wrong direction right <laughs> it was tanking to the upside um people thought that as soon as the futures would open up on sunday evening um we would see of course massive red now of course this could still happen tomorrow morning if something kicks off uh, during the night uh, but it seems like the markets are feeling a little bit better um, and um, we're seeing buying. We're seeing people that bought the dip, now a little bit more buying. We'll talk about what's happening with Shiba Inu and the potential of Shiba Inu to a tenth of a cent, which I know a lot of you are with the one cent dream, but actually my uh, goal is a tenth of a cent. So we'll talk a little bit about that and how current whale activity uh, could give us a signal about what's happening uh, and about five days uh, until bitcoin having so is it all you know ready to rock right now uh we'll talk about that as well i had a song in my head but then i didn't remember the words so that's why i paused for a second i was like if i'm gonna do that song i'm probably gonna mess it up and i'll make a fool of myself <laughs> this goes like I'm going to rock like this. Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't remember the words. <laughs> Beautiful smile. Smishity smash that like button. And let's do the Shiva Shake. So as you can see, lots of green here, right? We can play with the bubbles, right? Um... This is if you if you ever have some time to pass and you're bored, you can play with the bubbles. <laughs> Currently, the price of Shiba Inu is at 0.402285. We're up 8.39% since GMT time. Uh, but if we do go right uh, to here, it also says 8%. Uh, this is because, of course, Shiba Inu went down and then up. So if you take uh, you know the time frame, it's up 8%. If you go on the weekly, it's down 18%. 0.2%, but it is still uh, 12 on the market cap list, so it didn't fall off there. So it was just inside the whole uh, crypto ecosystem, right? Um, the, the fell off, you can see, right? Uh, 19, 20, 18, 23, 19 and 19.7, 20, 16 and a half, right? So they're all outside of the top, um, what was this, 10? The only one that keeps going up is uh, Toncoin interestingly um keeps keeps going up it it might pass dogecoin very very soon to jump up to eighth on the list right uh, and it could be coming for xrp as well so watch out for that um we did see here bitcoin come over sixty five thousand once again after being under sixty five thousand ever since uh, we dropped off a little bit we now are seeing us back over sixty-five thousand. we did have that like knee-jerk reaction but then it fell all the way down uh if you if you were watching there was a resistance uh, level here right and if we're talking about uh our part i'm gonna put on my cool hats right uh the margex hat here this is a uh, margex if you are interested they are a partner of the channel and they give you the opportunity to use leverage trading. If you would have seen, for example, you saw that 
Bitcoin had touched one, two, and a third time and bounced off of that. Some people will say this is a triple bottom, right? Uh, and uh, you would have opened a long position here and made some money, uh, but you didn't want to risk a lot, but you wanted to bathe in those gains. You could lose, use leverage uh, to maximize your position. Uh, but if you do use leverage, it comes with risk and you can get liquidated and lose all your position. Um, so leverage will give us the opportunity to make a lot of money, but you can also lose money. Uh, we saw yesterday and the day before how people lost even with small leverage because it was so volatile. So please trade responsibly. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll link to a video where I explain all about leverage if you're interested. Uh, and uh, so check that out in the description down below. So be interesting to see uh, where we go from here, right? Can Shiba Inu reclaim the 2400 area, right? It's getting very close uh, to that uh, high level that we saw yesterday. And you can see that after it broke through, we saw a dip off here, right? So I'll be watching this, of course, to see uh, does Shiba Inu get higher than this in the next few minutes? And then it could, uh, after if it breaks out of that, it could go uh, here all the way up to the 2400. I know, you know, many of you are saying, oh, we want to get back to 3000, but sw slowly, slowly, right? Sh uh, you know, we're, we're seeing here one day honey, one day onion. Yom asal, yom basal. And that, that's what we're seeing here. But you can see some assets that, for example, dropped hard, like dog with hat, now coming back 33% here, uh, you know, on the day uh, and from the low. 58 percent right um so it'll be interesting to see where we go from here now uh like i said stock market futures open in the green which is a positive sign uh let's see if it's still green yep it's still green right uh it was funny the uh israeli stock market opened up green today and the iranian stock market fell like four <laughs> percent uh, interesting. Uh, and uh, I wanted to share these two memes with you. I forgot. Um, this is, I've been do I've done this before too, right? When you, when you, <laughs> this is your trading strategy, right? Uh, and this was a funny one as well. Um, not funny, but uh, sometimes, you know, uh, sad. Let's shut that off. Here we go. Uh, where it's dropping, dropping, you hit your, your stop loss, right? Hits the stop loss. Uh, and you're like, oh, damn, right? And then, up. Oh, and then it starts going, don't you know, pump it up. <laughs> um, so it's happened to all of us. If any of these things happen to you, know that you're not alone. It's happened to all of us, right? So let's talk a little bit about Shiba Inu at a tenth of a cent price. It says here, Shiba Inu at a tenth of a cent price hangs in the balance as ship whale activity skyrockets by 570%. Uh, despite the SHIB's 12% drop and general market turmoil, this surge of whale activity raises intriguing questions about the motives and the potential impact of SHIB's price trajectory, right? According to Into the Block, staggering 570% in surge in large holder inflows for Shiba Inu on April 11th, uh, uh, these in April 10th, 12th, right? And going into 13th and 14th, I'm sure that the numbers were high as well. Um, this is an interesting scenario, but that doesn't mean whale action and whale activity does not mean that we are going to potentially go up, right? Sometimes whale activity happens because stop losses get hit, people are freaking out, people decide to sell, people decide to move from exchanges onto hard wallets um, and things like that. So yes, sometimes well activity can give us some kind of indication about what could potentially happen. Um, most times than none, it's a big nothing burger, right? And whale activity uh, will, if it's whale buying, that's one thing, but whale activity is a totally different thing. Whale buying, of course, is, is an indication that things are kicking off, right? And there's a potential we're going to see a big movement. Uh, sometimes it's fake, fake movements, right? They'll, they'll try to, you know, trigger some shorts, you know, to get a short squeeze or the opposite, selling to try to trigger uh, liquidations on the long. There's a lot of underlying things that happen in the market, especially on the big assets that we don't even know what that are going on. But the, you know, professional traders and the professional algos uh, are doing all kinds of shenanigans under, under the radar. That's why you have to be careful with day trading and things like that. I've seen uh, algo movements. I've seen algo 
as going and stop lossing people and liquidating people moving exactly to according to specific parameters or getting to a specific parameter let's say a crossing on the 1348 right ema we're not going to get into what that means right now but as soon as it touches right on the one minute boom it goes the other direction right because the algos know that that's happening and they go to the other direction so just be very careful out there especially sunday night can be a little bit tricky right i've seen many times sunday night start off positive and then a sell-off um, so be careful with that tonight if you're day trading uh, regarding the the price here i know they threw out the price here in the article this is my goal price right so this is the price that if shiba inu gets uh to that area that's my goal right uh it's my dream goal and if it gets to there i will very much think about what am i doing in that situation if you're new to the channel i decided about two three years ago that i would be leaving uh, my shiba inu position to my children right uh because i have a lot of assets and i decided you know what i think it would be cool if you know they could grow up and then say dad you know <laughs> is giving us this uh community token uh that you know was a, a play on a dog and it's given us so much wealth <laughs> right um but if it does get to that level i'd have to think about it a little bit because it would already be a lot of uh, fiat money right uh, and i'd have to think about maybe doing something right and because if it happens in five years they're still going to be pretty pretty young right my oldest will be he's uh eight now so it'll be 13 it's a great bar mitzvah <laughs> gift right i uh, know that'd be too much money <laughs> um but if it happens you know 20 30 years into the future then that's a whole different story so it all depends on when potentially it will happen again this is my dream scenario i know many people want one cent i uh, will not talk about one dollar but according i've said this multiple times according to the current data that we have and if you go and you look at shibarium's current numbers they're in the tank right <laughs> um so it seems that uh shiba inu to one cent is getting farther and farther away unless the data changes if the data changes it's a totally different story we had a few months ago 7 million transactions daily on shibarium maybe in in a year it's 70 million maybe it's 70,000 i don't know what's going to happen going forward the current statistics that we're seeing now it's not possible if the statistics change it could potentially happen but i think that one cent uh tenth of a cent sorry uh without burning the whole circulating supply of shiba inu could happen Right? So that's why that's my personal dream uh, number. But we'll see if that will happen or not. Uh, I have no idea if it will or will not. I'm not a prophet. Um, you know, I uh, am diversified in the crypto market. Uh, and that's why even with the drop uh, over the weekend, I wasn't hurt that bad. And by the way, I didn't even look at the dollar sign because I didn't have any open trades. So... I didn't get liquidated. I didn't get hurt in any way, right? A few weeks ago when things were kicking off, I was, you know, a little bit more day trading, swing trading, right? And I stopped, right? Just personal reasons for me. Uh, and so I didn't have any open position, no swing trades or no uh, day trades that were currently open. Of course, my total portfolio shifted, I'm sure, by a number, right? And I can calculate that in my head, but I didn't look at the numbers. I didn't look at uh, the app that I have that aggregates everything together. Uh, I just looked at the percentages here on <laughs> on uh, Coin uh, what is this, a uh, trading view. And I, I knew, give or take, right? But it really doesn't matter because if I'm not planning on selling anything, it doesn't matter if it's up thousand dollars ten thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars or the opposite if it's down a hundred thousand dollars my wife she's very smart a while back i had a big gain on uh, one asset and i told her it's it's a lot of money look how much money you could buy a car with this like a really nice car and she said to me yeah but are we gonna buy a car i said no so she says go so tell me when i can you know use it actually <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she's right you know in a sense but uh so, so that's why you shouldn't freak out too much with these kind of movements don't forget to smash the like button and of course check out the links in the description down below if you're interested in leverage trading uh like i said it can be an amazing tool but it is not for the faint-hearted and is not for beginners 
If you're interested, I made this video uh, about how to use leverage and a little bit about the different types of leverage and Margex, the platform that is our partner, right? So check out the link in the description down below. See if it's a uh, fit for you. It's not for everybody and it's not available for every country. So check it out again. If you're interested, you don't have to. Uh, it's an elective in the description down below. And of course, smash the like button, subscribe, join the membership, drop a super thanks. All of that is very appreciated uh, to me. Thank you for watching. Of course, not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence before you decide to invest. And like I always say, let's make a lot of money.